hello to everyone um, welcome back again into our lesson video so today i want us to look at geography um specifically on on the winds okay slope winds which can be catabic winds or anatopic winds okay yeah so but through africa we're going to be looking at catapatic winds okay yes because the question is about catabic winds the winds that okay during the night okay okay so let's have 2.3 so 2.3 says um figure 2.3 showing slope winds okay so we have slope winds here as you can see you can try to analyze and look at the diagram and take a time okay yes so we can see also the temperatures from up there are 40 degrees Celsius 10 degrees Celsius 8 degrees Celsius and 4 degrees Celsius again so we have um winds a that are blowing downwards okay yes mind you this is night guys okay okay so 2.3.1 says name slope point a so we have to name this slope point slope point a what's the name of this slope point that is blowing downwards mind you between the anapatic winds as well as catapatic winds this whereby you know that catapatic winds okay during the night and they fall downwards down the hill during the night and the anatopic, anatopic wind during the day up the, the valley okay yes meaning that up there up the mountain okay and that's how it goes so meaning that our wind a is a catapatic wind okay or catapatic winds okay and that's how it goes okay so let's move to the second question i hope you get it guys more especially if ever uh, as well as i mentioned that it's occurring during the night okay yes during the night cut up the queens and during the day and up the so don't confuse the two okay okay so stick one factor that is responsible for the movement of slope with a which is cut up the queens as shown in the in, in figure so we have to stay to one factor that is responsible for the movement okay so we have to see the reason why they are moving downwards okay the reason why it's because as you can also see the level of these catapatic winds okay are at a level which is very very cold you know that cold winds are very dry and dense winds okay meaning that when they are on the top of the mountain mean that at this level now because of gravity they are going to blow downwards to the valley floor okay yes because of density and well just because of the gravity they're going to fall downwards to the to the valley floor and that's the reason why okay yes as also as you can see as they move downward they at least start to increase the temperature as you can see it's 10 here it's 8 at least here okay yes but um um yeah you can also say that okay yes so um yeah straightforward guys because of gravity because of gravity they are going to move down and because they are heavy or dense winds and that's how it goes simple like that you get all the marks okay so let's move to the second question third question i mean that question says 2.3.3 what impact do the wind slope have on the air moving down slope so how to the uneven slope as you can see also this uneven slope this slope is uneven okay yes mean that it has um folds and um and turns etc okay yes as you can see so when the wind is blowing downwards mean that the catapatic winds during the night when they're blown downwards mean that there will be a lot of friction that is going to that is going to okay between the with these winds as well as the as well as the slope okay there's a lot of friction that is going to okay which is going to slow down the wind speed moving downwards okay yes as you can see there will be a lot of friction okay yes it's going to cause these winds to slow down so that's the impact of the uneven slope and that's how it goes i hope you get so the impact of the uneven slope is going to impact these winds to slow down because of the uneven um of this uneven slope going to slow down the winds catapetic winds um yeah because of the friction that's how it goes okay 
So let's move to 3.4.3.4. So 3.3.4 says explain why a temperature inversion occurs in a valley at night. So the first thing now we have to understand is a temperature inversion. Okay. So we have to explain why this temperature inversion occurs during the night. Okay, yes. Yeah, yeah, in a valley at night. So mind you. The temperature inversion this will buy an increase in a in an altitude there is an increase with temperatures meaning that there are warmer temperatures at this at this level okay so that's the temperature inversion i hope you get it and i hope you know the temperature inversion okay right now what you have to know is that so sorry Okay, no problem. So, right now, what we have to understand is that now, during the night, the catapatic winds, which are very, very cold and dry, moved downwards. Okay, let me use blue for, for cold winds, okay? Let me use blue for cold winds um, for these catapatic winds. So, blue is the catapatic winds, okay? They are moving downwards. You can see the arrow. Okay. So when they move downwards, because of their dense and dry, they are going to force these warm wind, okay, or the warm air that is already on the valley floor to rise, as you can see the arrows, okay. When these warm air rises, okay, or when this warm air rises. There's a level, meaning that there's a level whereby it's going to be trapped, as you can see, at this at this point, okay? Um, as you can see at this point. So this is going to call this is going to cause a temperature inversion or a a, a um a, a what you call it's going to cause um yes a temperature inversion, okay? Yes. So why is it trapped it's because there is cold air underneath okay that is left in the valley floor there is cold air here as you can see 40 degrees celsius but as you move up there is warm air 10 degrees celsius also if you move upward just after this there will be cold air as you can see 40 degrees so that's how it got trapped okay yes this warm air which is going to cause this inversion layer okay yes and that's how it goes. So that's how these form during the night. So the, the invasion layer forms during the night, and that's the influence of these catapultic winds. Okay. Um, let me erase that. Okay. Let's move to um, um, to two point three point five. So 2.3.5 says now, um, in a paragraph of approximately eight lines, discuss how slope wind A, which is catapultic winds, can have both positive and negative influence on the on the valley, on the um, vegetation growth on the valley floor. Okay, so now we have to state some positive as well as negative influences that catapultic winds. These very cold, dry winds during the night have on the have um, the, the, the positive as well as negative influence have on the vegetation growth on the valley floor. Okay, so you know that. Let's start with um, at least we have to give um, two points for, for for positive and two points for negative. So let's start with positive. Okay, so. As you know that at least by the morning, okay, there will be water droplets like, okay, which are formed by these catapultic winds, okay, yes, because they have reached their dew point temperatures while they are on the on the valley floor. So during um, maybe early morning, there will be droplets like, or during the night, droplets like, okay, yes, which is going to moisturize the what. The, 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 the soil okay as well as the, the vegetation 
and that's how it goes. So you can also say, um, you know, that if ever there was a frost pocket, meaning that they reached their freezing point, okay, while on the very floor, so meaning that there will be during when when the time these frost pockets are melting, they are going to benefit that water because you know that plants um, it's vital for them to to receive some water. Okay, yes, yeah, as well as um, you know those extreme cold um, winds are going to kill some pests or some unwanted pests. Okay, yes, you can also say that. Okay. So that's the positive that you can say. So let's move to the negative right now. So instead of on the negative, you can also say that the cold dense air, which is collected by the valley floor, okay, yes, it creates frost pockets, which is going to promote only frost resistant crops, which is going to be um, planted or, um, yeah, it's going to be planted by the farmers, okay, yes. And you know that number two you also know that the the, the, the frost plants are going to kill other plants okay yes mean that other plants cannot survive the other thing that you can say is that the resistant fog formed by the valley flow at night reaches the level of photosynthesis in the morning meaning that the leaves um uh, the leaves uh, aren't able to to go through the process of of photosynthesis okay during the night so that's going to also make um, plants to die or struggle a lot okay yes so yeah so this is also going to as i mentioned the the the, the frost resistant crops so this basically means that this is going to promote the farmers to only plant those frost resistant crops instead of uh, planting um or growing the variety of crops that we have okay yes that's how it goes. so that's the end of our lesson today please don't forget to subscribe for more lesson for more lesson content um have a great day it has